Georgia Media Editor Edgar Street, Hereford Manager Russell Slade. Nobody could uh, criticise the effort and industry out there today, but just, just didn't seem to work inside the penalty boxes. Would you agree? Yeah, totally. That's exactly what I said to the players. Really pleased with the spirit. Very competitive game. They were competitive as well. Um, nobody giving too much away. But um, yeah, yeah, final third really. I, I, I'd have liked to have worked the keeper a little bit more. I thought we had a couple of opportunities where maybe we should have let a shot off and got, got, got a shot in on goal and probably overplayed occasionally in the final third rather than getting that final ball into the box, you know, that clever pass or pull back or, or whatever it might be. And, and the one ball we did get into the fast stick got taken off Pete's head almost I think at the, which would have been a great opportunity as well but look it's probably a fair result we, we, we take the positives from the nil-nil obviously we want to be winning at home it was a competitive game we move on but I think we have to bear in mind as well it's quite a young side as well um, out there you take Dorse out and Browse um, and Yaz and it is quite a young side that's developing out there as well and it's got pace it's got ability I like the likes of Taylor when he's one on one and we all know Jordan Nicholson can do something and, and then you've got you know Bray coming on as well who's, who's, who's got good feet so you know we have got threats so we, we just need to be we just need to be converting opportunities when they come what, what do you think it'll take to, to, to launch that and get that spark um, just, I just have to keep working on it we just need to sometimes we take that extra touch when we don't need to, whether it's either crossing the ball, we take an extra touch before it goes in, and when, when it arrives in there and there's half a chance to shoot, sometimes to shoot through somebody's feet, take a deflection and goes in. You know, if you don't offer yourself up that opportunity, take that opportunity, it might take a deflection and go in. And that's what we've got to do. You know, the more times we knock on the door, the more opportunities might come our way. How much is that down to confidence individually? Well, yeah, it can come down to confidence, but but you just gotta just gotta be brave. You just gotta be brave in these in these situations, and um, you know, to to get that first goal today would have been absolutely key, and that would have given us a, a huge lift. But look, we, we've we've um, it was a solid performance. We just need to back that up now. We've got a lot of games coming up in a short period of time. We really really need to back that up. I know you were disappointed with the defensive display in the last game. Were you much happier today? And what's the latest with Martin Riley? Um, yeah, m much happier. The back four, I thought, by and large, was, was, was quite solid. They had a couple of, they had one chance in the first period and probably one decent chance in the second period. But um, by and large, they were, they, they were steady. Um, Martin has gone and popped the shoulder again, mm. which is absolutely disastrous, really. Um, feel for the boy. Um, he's just got himself back. He's just been this last couple of weeks in training he's just got better and stronger and right on it and to lose him is, is, is a huge blow it's a huge blow he's, he's a good character as well great to have around the changing room and um, for that to happen again is uh, will be hard to take for him to be honest Will that mean an extension for Jack Bodman's loan period do you feel into January? Yeah well we've, we've, we've got we've got Jack and obviously we've, we've got Josh as well so we have opportunities for somebody else to step up Pope he can you know he likes to think that that's a strong position for him as well as well as you know I mean he's quite versatile Popey but he likes to think centre arse one of his positions as well so we have got we, we, we have got options but um, yeah he's still disappointing that we've lost Mark. The incentive now with all these uh, games over the festive period is there for everybody. Kidderminster Harriers twice. I mean, uh, those are matches to savour. Yeah, of course they are. It's a, it's a local derby. I love local derbies. We got, you know, we we got a got everything. Not, in, in the local derbies, everything goes out the window as well. It doesn't matter what form you're in, where you're at, or whatever. It's a local derby. Let's, let's bring it on and let's, you know, let's. I hope it is entertaining. But above all, let's try and get three points. Um, you brought Victor Sedain back in from Nottingham Forest. Is that something that you worked on, or did you feel that he didn't have a chance here, or what? How, how did that come about? Well, well, he had a little chance. He got a goal, didn't he, when he when he came on? But then he picked up a little bit of an injury, which meant that we didn't extend the loan straight away. We waited till he got fit again. He went back to Forest, his parent club, and he's now fit and he's on it again. So. I think it's another opportunity for him because he has, he has got a bit of... He's scruffy, you know, with, with the ball at his feet sometimes, but he does go past people in training and he does nick a goal. So, you know, he's useful to have around for sure. 
And finally, you, a lot of movement certainly out in terms of loans. Does that mean that you're you've got irons in the fire for January, or is the well, budget fully stretched? Well, I think well, I think we're pretty much fully stretched. Um, uh, whether we're able to bring anybody in in the near future, we'll, we'll have to wait and see. But I've, I've already lost a couple of targets that I did want to bring to the football club. But um, budget is tight. That's that's the way it is. Um, I can only spend what I'm going to be given. But obviously, the budget's smaller than the one when I came to the club. That's just the way it is at the minute. If we have the, you know, the pennies have to add up and the finances have to work. So that's the, that's a decision from the top and I have to get on with trying to find a football team for, for that budget to be successful. Thanks for your time. That's honest enough, isn't it? <laughs> so, yeah, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> have a good Christmas. A um, couple of players have gone out of on loan, Tom Owen Evans and Rowan yes. Lowbert. Yes. Um, how do you see like their progress? Obviously, they haven't had as much game time lately. If they no, see, they haven't. Yeah. So, so, I mean, the, the key, key was games. Oh, key was games for them and opportunity to reduce the budget and for them to go and get some football. Because for Tom, obviously, he was one of the better players last season and for one reason or another, it hasn't quite worked out for him this season. It can or? happen, can't it? It can happen sometimes. Um, you know, I was w- waiting for him to hit the levels that I want. Um, and you know it might be that get some football under his belt, then we might see you know the strong, you know top yeah. performing Tom Tommy up. And it's just a case of um, getting three points on Boxing Day for any means possible, mm-hmm. even if even if it comes to the It's a local side, derby, yeah. as I say. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because obviously, yeah. um, Willens run I think it's nine games now in the league, going back to the yeah. beginning of October, which is obviously yeah. a little bit worrying for the fans. Yeah, of course it is. We, I mean, we've. We've been a bit unfortunate. The last three games, I think the performances have been solid, to say the least. Playing Farsley, York and Geisley today, all above us in the table. Um, and I think we've put in solid performances. And I think we've been very unfortunate not to have won a couple of those games. But when you have these kind of runs, you just have to, you just have to stay strong. Yeah. Okay? You just have to, you have to just run harder than the opposition. Yeah, great. Thank you. Thank you, mate. Thank you.